so we'll discuss about the so some other transaction codes called the so sm icm 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 internet communication manager icm and icf icm okay sm icm internet communication manager here so what is mean by icm internet communication manager here so here what exactly happens here in sm icm request right so whenever it is used to monitor and administration of the internet based request here which will receive the request from the browser suppose if any user any user he wants to he wants to uh, like login through browser so then here icm will help icm will help and icm has the some memory pipes here to process the to process the your request here so here smicm so in smicm we can monitor the the status of the how the requests are handling by icm process right each and every application server we have the icm here icm process here so all those things we can monitor it here right all those things we can monitor it here in the systems here right icm internet communication manager suppose so here suppose you want to some users they are logging to the browser right they they don't have the gui they don't know how to log in from gui also in that case they can log in via so sm icm means through G, from browser they will log in in this case they have they should have the so these things here right they should have the so sm icm should be up and running which will receive the data from browser and which will process the your logic here right so here you see icm as part of the sm icm we need to check the whether icm exist icm is running or not then we can just check the services here what is the ports are configured why because when, when you are logging into the browser definitely there should be a port should be open here definitely the port should be open here suppose if you take the so ircpc then internally there is a port is configured here without that port you cannot log in here if it is the http 80 https 443 the ports are configured here so internally it will take it will route it here internally it will it will route it here if it is the https <clears throat> then there is a 443 here https there is a 443 here but port number will not show here but port number when it will show when we are accessing from port is the some kind of tunnels some kind of tunnels here so pipes i mean to say in our language say pipe why a pipe how the water will come to the our uh, kitchen so washrooms so how the why a pipe the main pipe is only one but in, we will divide into the sub pipes into the so everywhere right so then same way the pipe is the tunnel tunnel so it will it will come the data right same way why a pipes so port the ports are kind of tunnels here through this tunnels the user can access the data here so for each and every sap application servers there is a ports associated here so where can we configure this ports means in sm icm we can see the here we can configure the ports here in sm icm we can configure the ports here see here here ports are zero here ports are zero so which means we have to configure the ports here just to go to the here services just to click on the ports here so then maybe it's a 80 or whatever whatever the services you want to configure then what is the timeout here processing timeouts and everything we can configure it here so so see here we have configured the 8000 here then https https i can configure create or you can modify it here create or you can just change the main http https are very important here so i have configured the ports here i'm configuring the ports this time out parameters so http https i have configured here right http https i have configured here
some uh, duplicate ports came, just removing those things here, delete. So mainly HTTP, HTTP ports are should be the active status here. Active status here. What is this use of these ports here? The ports will process the your request here. So it will help to connect to the your respective application server, your respective system here. So here the threads will handle the, these are the ICM threads here. How the, we have the work process here, for the ICM also we have the threads here, which will process the, which will take the browser request here. If we go to the here, the trace file, here open the trace file here, ICM trace file means each and every action of the ICM will be tracked here. So whatever we have done it here, 80 already exist. So something like that 833 we have configured here. So 8300 we have configured, 443 we have configured, some ports we have deleted. Each and everything here, each and everything here, it will be recorded here. Each and everything will be recorded in the SIC, SAP system. So each and everything will be recorded in the SAP system here, right? In the ICM log file here. Each and everything, even work process also, there is a log files. Dispatcher also, there is a log file. Then each and every process there is a log file they have the own log file here so those things we can check it out here so but especially we are discussing about the icm the icm related log files also available in the go to the menu here you can just check the icm file here display all or end or whatever we can check it out here right memory pipes here memory pipes means icm related data icm i asked how the dispatcher will process your dispatcher will maintain the request into the order and will process here icm also some memory pipes to process your request here icm memory pop that is called the npa buffers so you don't need in detail today just remember that one okay so here if you want to restart the icm just you can restart the soft or local or global or hard local and global soft means suppose some icm browser based request you are unable to open you are unable to open the ICM, ICM means web page through via browser, you are unable to connect to the any one of the applications. Sometimes system is up and running, so maybe, so ICM is not responding or hung status. Then you can process the, just you can restart the ICM service alone itself instead of entire server here, here, right? So maintenance mode, you can set the maintenance mode, so many configurations, anything you can do it here, right? So here trace activations, all the services, so if ports are active or not, here we can check it out here. So as part of the daily day-to-day -day monitoring here, here we can check the ICM related services are active, the ports are active or not, and ICM is running or not. Two things we can check it out as part of the day-to-day -day activity here. One is the ports <coughs> and ICM status here. Both should be active here. If you go to the here, you will get the services ports should be active here should come to the active status then that's fine users can also can log into the so ports here why because some some cases so suppose like if you some 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 application they have the my shopping carts my shopping carts like that here so here icm is icm will play the majority of the role here icm will play the majority of the roles for your business applications so here you are you are opening from browser and here icm will take care of the your request here so that time icm is the very 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 important here right and the next one is icm there is interlinked services are there here here the service activation as i mentioned here so icm will process will 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 help you to open the services applications and everything so where can we activate the services means in SICF is the transaction code. Here we can activate the services here. If you know the service name, we can find out otherwise. Suppose I want to access something here, web GUI. Web GUI is the one of the service here, right? Same as like web GUI is the service here. I want to access the web GUI here. So browser-based web GUI. <laughs> so this will open the request here. This will open the request here. But here you can see here it won't it won't it won't it won't open here. Why because why because I need to in the router I need to set for this one here. So the request will be opened here in our server. It will open in our server. It will open. But this is in the different environment and a different region also this server. So that's why in the they have they have restricted access to the outside of the browser. 
but in our server it will open here so any service activation we have to do it from the here in SICF transaction code here <coughs> I will show you in our servers again but for so here in SICF any service activation we want to activate any service here so you can you can see the list of services here any service activation we can see it from the SICF transaction code here SI CF transaction code here. We want to open the so SRM, SRM catalogs, SVM catalogs, SRM, SRM, e procurement, whatever you want to open it here, everything we can open it from here. It, we can open it from here, here. So it will process the our request here. Let me try that one. It will open or not. For a public IP, I'm trying to access. <laughs> No, we are unable to access the uh, public IP. From a router side, there is some settings here. So to do that one. So that's why it's unable to access that one. See here. Yeah. But our server, we can access. Our server, we can access it here. As soon as our server is back, then I can inform you. You can, you can check it out here. Okay. So in the SICS, SICS, SICS here, the main thing is the service activation. If any service you want to activate it here, so suppose you want to activate the about this service, right? We can we can activate the service here, right? Suppose anything, suppose you want to activate this service here, BW Analytics Analytics related services here, right? Click and you can activate the service and you can test it here. So any service activation, you can do it from the CRM logon. So any service, a list of services depends upon your product version, your list of servers are available, list of services are available here. So sometimes users may access via a browser. So that time, so you need to activate the, the related service applications you have to open from the here in SICF transaction code here. SICF means, so it's a kind of service activation. How the, the services will be, service we can activate it, but how it will be accessed means via SM, SM, ICM, SM, ICM. So the services will be activated here. Means we can, uh, the, via SM, ICM, it will go and via port. Why? Because each and everything here, via port only, it will get the services here. NZ, train patch, something like that. We are the services, right? So this is the main host. Under the main host, SM, ICM will enter into the system then here you can access the this is the main service this is the sub services here so like that we have same way here we are we are able to receive the, all those things right same way we can get the services here so that functionalities are available then we can also open the here how they will open the browser level how can we open the suppose like uh, irctc some red bus bus ticket booking sites so how we are accessing here Right. So here, this is a main service here. Under the main service here, we can also access the some other services. Everything we can access it. Right. So same way, here ICM is helping to open the browser-based sites here. Okay. So then, so we have to activate that related service. Then we can open the anything from the browser. So that is the one thing here. So SMICM for the internet-based request. So it will handle the browser-based request. It will take it out. Then it will check in the SICS whether the service activation or not. Then it will, op it will, it will open the request here. Okay. So that is the one. Any questions from anyone? I will stop it here. But because you need practical for that one. So I will stop it. When our server is back, then we can discuss.